Hello again. This is the more finished product of my project. I've now got two autometer gauges here. Uh, they're both oil pressure gauges because once again, zero to 100, so I can represent things as a percentage. I redid the code behind the scenes so it accepts a number from zero to 100 so I can represent it on the gauge. Unfortunately, um, the values I have to use to get the needle to point it where I where it needs to be is not linear so I had to use a trend line and unfortunately the trend line is not very accurate it's near the mid-range it kind of bumps up in value and makes it slightly inaccurate and to add to that <coughs> these gauges I'm not really sure if you can notice this here due to the angle but the gauges are both resting at zero but at different parts of zero. The one on the left is slightly below zero and I ran into this with a previous gauge where the new one read below zero and in fact it won't actually reach a hundred. It seems to reach about 95 but it won't always get to a hundred. The original gauge which I have on the right here, this is the one I had all along, will go all the way to a hundred and I don't know I should say that I returned the original second gauge, and this is the one on the left is now my third gauge. So I don't know if it's just a fluke that these two, that the two that read below zero and not all the way to 100 didn't work, or if it's a fluke that the one on the right is broken and reads too high, and just by coincidence works for me. So I'm not sure about that, and quite frankly, I'm not going to wait a week for Advanced Auto to get another one in stock. And I think they're all getting a bit confused as, why to, why, as to why I'm getting so many oil pressure gauges. Anyway, after many hours of painful debugging, getting it to accept two values now, I have gotten it to represent both CPU and RAM usage at the same time. Now, I programmed in a very small sweep program because there seems to be, well, one, it's, it's kind of neat looking. And two, there seems to be some just random jargon that gets left in the serial input. And I don't know what it is, but this kind of lets this lets the program just kind of ignore it for a while. I don't know if that even makes sense, but it seemed to go away when I added the sweep. So, so I don't know if you could see that there, but the one on the left really does not reach 100. The one on the left represents RAM usage, and the one on the right represents CPU usage. And CPU percentage is always going to be a bit jumpy. So there's no real cure for that. Some people have suggested a moving average, but this actually seems to work seems to work pretty well. Um you can let's watch both of them in action as I launch a game. As you can see my CPU is just you know shot up. RAM usage will slowly start to rise here. And the script for this program actually doesn't use a whole lot of resources in its own. Uh, I don't know if you've ever actually noticed that the Windows sidebar is a hog. It's pretty obnoxious as far as resources are concerned. The Python script that I have running in the background that updates the gauges every half second now, it takes up less than 3 megs of RAM and doesn't seem to use much CPU at all. It, I can leave it running all night and it won't register at all on CPU time. It takes up a bunch of I.O. writes because it writes every half second, but it seems to be head over heels better than what the sidebar can do. And in fact, I've, I've noticed it from time to time where the process will go down to 900k in size, and I can't quite explain that, but I'm certainly welcome it. And see, our RAM usage is slowly climbing, and my CPU usage just kind of plummeted as I think it loading something. Now while I'm playing a game, both of these will stay pretty straightforward at a high usage. If I really wanted to get creative, I could add a third gauge for hard drive activity, but I don't think I'm that dedicated. So yeah, now that I'm running around and doing stuff, it's staying fairly constant at high values. 
then if I disconnect from the game CPU usage plummets and when I quit the game RAM will just as well plummet now I've got it pretty much finished at this stage um, I was gonna add the backlights which are just these incandescent bulbs um, they're not very powerful and they're kind of big it's gonna it's gonna be a real pain to get all those wires in there especially because the incandescent bulb wires are bigger than the wires I needed for the Arduino board so I don't think that's gonna happen I think I'm just gonna and I'll, I, I've thought about using LEDs to backlight them but at this stage at least for me I think it's fine it doesn't seem to it's not something that I need to have illuminated. So, if you want to buy some incan incandescent bulbs designed for 12 volts, you know, talk to me. <laughs> Other than that, this is the more or less finished pro product. I've got to polish it up. i got to put a bottom on it. I'm going to drill some holes to mount the board and cut a hole for the USB cord so, it, so the cord doesn't keep falling out and everything. But other than that, project complete.